Hi guys, welcome to Peter's Color Reading. Today we'll be reading the light orange label, or see some chem in Thai. This label is mainly about fictional stories, or in Thai, they call it Rung An Len. And today we'll be reading Geronimo Stilton, The Journey Through Time. And students, please go grab your small light orange slips of paper, write down your name, date, and the book name. I'll repeat it. The Journey Through Time. And let's get it rolling, shall we? The Mysterious Letter. It was a foggy December morning. I left home, got a coffee at a nearby cafe, and munched on a cheesy croissant as I leafed through my newspaper, the Rodents Gazette, while walking to work. Five minutes later, I was in my office. I immediately noticed a mysterious letter sitting on my desk. The envelope was sealed with a yellow wax stamp with a peculiar symbol on it, a question mark. The handwriting looked very familiar to me. I opened the envelope cautiously. A rusty key slipped out, along with a sheet of crumby, crumbly old notepaper that smelled like moldy cheese. Intrigued, I read the note. Geronimo, take the number 17 trolley from Romano Square and get off at the seventh stop. Walk to the traffic light, then take the second street on the left, then the third on the right, and then the first on the left. Cross the bridge, take 23 and a half steps until you reach the billboard with the, the gorgonzola cheese. Had. Then take 14 steps towards the telephone booth. You should find yourself standing in front of a clock. Turn your back on to the clock and take seven steps towards the pizzeria. Go inside the pizzeria, walk to the bathroom, exit through the small window, and climb over the low wall. Now walk for exactly 30 seconds towards the shoe store. Go around the corner and continue walking until you see a little black door with a sign on it that says, do not enter. Open the door using the enclosed key. Go through the door, and you'll find yourself in an alley. Take the first right, then the second left, and then, then the third right. Turn into a yard and proceed until you reach a large dumpster. Climb into, a du climb into the dumpster for an amazing adventure. Signed. Hmm? P.S. Commit these instructions to memory. Then destroy the letter. Do not talk about this to anyone. It is an extremely secretive secret. Modi mozzarella, I squeak. An adventure in a dumpster? What an intriguing letter. I carefully reread re the letter and examined it with a magnifying glass. Hmm. Said to myself, it could be a prank, but... If it's not, I thought about it for a minute as my whiskers trembled with excitement. Then I made my decision. I memorized the instructions, tore the letter into a thousand pieces, and without saying anything to anyone, quietly slipped out of the office. I scampered to the corner, crossed the street, and ran to catch the number 17 trolley. My whiskers trembled. The trolley was very, very crowded. I pushed my way through rats and mice on their way to work. I looked out the window. A dusting of fresh snow covered the streets of New Mouse City, and it was truly beautiful. The rooftop looked like white pillows, while the ice made the trees look like they were dressed for a party in delicate Lace. Lost in thought, I almost didn't notice the trolley had come to the seventh stop. The doors creaked open. Creak, creak! I stepped off the trolley to find 
that the fog had gotten thicker. I couldn't see anything beyond my own paw. I cleaned my fog glasses and tried to remember the instructions in the mysterious letter. Oh, right. I had to walk to the traffic light. I took the second street on the left, then the third on the right, and then the first on the left. I crossed the bridge and counted 23 and a half steps toward Gorgonzola cheese billboard. I counted 14 steps towards the phone booth. There was the clock. After counting seven steps, I found myself in front of the pizzeria. I went in. The owner winked at me. How strange. I went into the bathroom, excited, exited, exit through the small window and climbed over the low wall. I walked exactly 30 seconds towards the shoe store, went around and I went around the corner and I found a small black door with a sign that read, do not enter. I opened the door using the mysterious key and I found myself in an alley. I took the first right, then the second left, then the third right, and finally turned into a yard. There I found the dumpster. I took off the lid. Oh, what a stench! I pinched my nose and climbed inside. But as soon as I got in, the bottom gave out and I fell into what seemed to be an endless dark tunnel. I shouted as loud as I could, HELP! Everything around me was pitch black. I fell for what seemed like forever. Was it seconds, minutes, or hours? I couldn't tell. I only know that at one point I bounced onto some sort of trampoline. Boing! I bounced, and bounced, and bounced! And a steel clamp grabbed my tail. Clamp grabbed my tail. Then I heard a mechanical voice repeat it, repeat over and over again. Is it him or isn't it him? Is it him or isn't it him? Is it him or isn't he him? A little robot slid toward me and began to sniff at my fur. Sniff, sniff, sniff. It's him, the robot exclaimed. It's Geronimo Stilton. Stilton. Even though I was suspended in midair, I found the strength to correct the tiny machine. Excuse me. My name is Stilton. Geronimo Stilton, I insist. Suddenly, the steel clamped on my tail released and fell to the floor with a thud. I looked up just as a small door flew open. I instantly recognized a familiar snout. Profes Professor Von Vault, I exclaimed. What are you doing here? Alright guys, now that we're done reading with the orange label books, please remember to write down your name, date, the time you have read, and the book name, which is The Journey Through Time. And if you're very if you're if you're interested in other fictional stories, please go check out these the color the light the orange color label books on the bookshelves. And remember after you're done, remember to put it in the box. See y'all next time.